Good morning. If you are home and you are watching me, I want you to go grab your bucket of cleaning supplies if you have one. Hop up, step away from the computer. It is okay. It will be great. Well, yeah. Or take your phone with you and we'll do this together. We are going to hop up, do our stuff in the home planner. If you don't have a copy of the home planner, you can click the link in the video and get a free sample of our home planner to try out. It is launching again next a week from Sunday night, and I just wanted to kind of walk through it with you. So good morning, guys. As you're hopping on, tell me good morning. I just wanted to take some time with y'all because I felt like I did a hurried one before, and y'all know, sometimes I want to slow down. So I'm going through and doing my stuff in the planner. Let's talk about what we've done already this morning. Y'all tell me how you're doing this morning. Tell me if you are doing anything fun today, if you're excited about anything in your life. What are you doing? What did you do for exercise this morning? The first thing y'all know, uh, in the morning, I try to wake up and exercise first. So I've done that, and I've showered. I've made the bed. Uh, started Well, I didn't start a little laundry because I didn't have a full load. Um, we're going to go do the sinks in a second. I planned dinner. Y'all, can I just tell you what we are doing for dinner tonight? This is so silly. My husband, he was complaining the other day. He said, I miss the days when we just had plain spaghetti and things like fish sticks. Fish sticks? Or buy one, get one free last week. So we're having fish sticks and salad for dinner. He's going to be excited. It's fine, whatever. So I've gone ahead and planned and prepped dinner. I've washed and put away dishes. We're going to do the kitchen counters right now. So as you're hopping up, let's go. Everybody, hop up. Who can do this? Good morning, Nicole. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Beth. So glad to see you. Okay, so let's go through and let's really quickly just kind of give our kitchen a fresh Tidying. I'm just going to do my kitchen counters. As you're watching, you guys better be doing them with me. And then today is Wednesday. Does anybody know what happens on Wednesdays? It's not that, well, if I, depending on the situation of boys in your home, is that terrible to say that? It may or may not be a rough day at your house. Y'all tell me, do you love Wednesdays? Who knows what Wednesday is? Hey, Lillian. Thank you so much, Linda. My shirt is from Target, and I like this one too. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this really well. Y'all, let me show you guys. My sink, for whatever reason, I feel like it has not a strong enough seal on it or something, and it just stays kind of gross. So I feel like I'm having, I mean, I have to clean the sink twice a day with my family at home where it gets really nasty really fast. My old sink seemed to clean out better. Does that even make sense that you could have a more enamely sink? This sink is just not, I don't know. It's not as... It's not as enamely. Anyways, it's like it's got, it doesn't have a solid A polyurethane on it. Would that make sense? Like things don't just rinse down. So I have to always really scrub it to get it clean in the morning and again at night. And it just doesn't do as well as my other one seems to do. I don't know what is up with it. Or maybe my family. I mean, it's only two of them. It's just three of us home. It shouldn't be that bad. But it is bad. So I am scrubbing to get that all tidy up. So if you are at home and you need to scrub your sink, let's do it. Let's get it done. Give your sink a nice, soapy, happy bath. There we go. It's going to feel so good. I like these kitchen grates. They just kind of keep me from hurting the enamel on here. That is done. I'm going to put everything back into my little supply caddy. And then the last thing I like to do that somebody reminded me of this morning is to go through and set out a fresh towel. Y'all are going to laugh at me and some people might think I'm crazy. I typically do this at night, but setting a fresh towel out is like giving yourself this happy little gift that just makes, I don't know, isn't it just nice to walk into a kitchen and have it basically kind of set up for you? I like the kitchen towel. Okay. So the next thing on the planner, y'all, are we ready? Hop up as you're watching. Do not just watch me. You have, there goes y'all. The Windex attacked me. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. The next thing on the list is to wash put away dishes. We did that. We're going to go to bathrooms right now, clear kitchen counters, wipe down kitchen sink, tidy main living space is done. So the big thing on Wednesdays is to clean bathrooms, change kitchen, change towels, and restock the toilet paper. And this week, we're also organizing bath towels. So since those are things that I actually happen to need to do, let's go do that together. I'm hoping I can carry this all, y'all. Let's see how we do. Bear with me. I think I got it. I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay. My little vase stand is kind of heavy. So we're just going to run really fast. And the first thing I'm going to do is, oh, goodness, y'all. Here we go. In the bathroom. Are we ready? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to really quickly 
organize some bath towels. Now, I don't have tons of bath towels to do. Um, we just keep a smaller number than like, I used to keep so many towels. And then I realized that by keeping a ton, it was just more than we needed. So I don't know what this is gonna look like. Okay. So we don't keep tons. However, this is what happens when my husband puts the towels away, you guys. Um, we have two people that use this bathroom. So this is honestly more towels than we need and that's exactly what I think happens. We recently had guests and bless him, he was great to put the towels away. But it's funny, I'm married to an engineer who is not very engineer-like and so he doesn't do things super orderly and we don't have a very large space honestly for this house. Where do y'all keep your kitchen towel, your bath towels at? Do you keep them underneath the sink in your bathroom? That's where we keep ours at. It's nothing fancy, but I'm just gonna clean it out uber fast. Get those put together real quickly. Let's see. Um, there we go. So there's those, not super better, but slightly better. Um, here we go, y'all. This is excitement right here. Riveting TV as we fold our towels together. Sweet of, it is so sweet of him to try. I'm not saying anything, y'all, please do not mistake me for not being thankful. Um, we've been married for 26 years and there are just things I know about him. He is never gonna be the most orderly bath keeper I've ever seen. So yeah, that's how he goes. You have a linen closet. We don't have a linen, well, we have a linen closet down here. You know why I like to keep this stuff underneath the sinks is I used to keep cleaners underneath our sinks and they just got kind of nasty. So he definitely does help and I am definitely thankful for him. So I'm not, y'all, I'm not bad mouthing him. I'm super crazy thankful, but he tends to just throw everything in. So really quickly, I can tidy it up though. And actually, I, we both need new towels. So I'm gonna stick those out to put for us. And this is actually a guest towel, so that should be in there anyways. There we go. How's that? Done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll take y'all up here. Uh, this is his side of the sink. I'm gonna put fresh towels out in this bathrooms. It just feels good to have a day to do that. So we're gonna do that super fast. Tell me if you are working on something in your home today. Um, you always watch your, watch your lives with no interruptions, but when you share a link, it can never look at it. I don't know why the links aren't working. I'm not quite sure why that happens. Vail, I am so thankful to have a husband who cares. Like I said, he did put the towels away. So I'll give him that for sure. We've been married a lot of years, y'all. A lot of years. Okay, so I'm gonna take my dirty, dirty towels and throw those into the washing machine. And now we are gonna real quickly just do the bathroom sinks and the toilet. And then we'll be done in here. So come on over here. Um, Let's see if I can get y'all to where you can see. Here's my sink, which is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm just gonna do it really, really fast, and then I'll do the toilet. I probably am not gonna do the toilet with you guys today because that is not super exciting. I don't think to watch somebody clean their toilet, but it does feel good when it's done. So I'm clearing off my counters real fast, and I'm gonna get a rag, and y'all, we will be done. If you are watching this morning, I encourage you, take a few minutes to do your bathroom if you need to. It feels so good to come into your own space and know that it's been taken care of and it doesn't take long. Like wiping down a mirror and a toilet, if you do it regularly, isn't awful. Now, I will say, how many people live in your house? Tell me how many of you guys live in your house. You couldn't on the floor, you've changed towels in the bathrooms, unload the dishwasher and have a load in the washer. Whoa, go Dana, that's fantastic. Y'all, how many people do y'all have in your houses? Um, yeah, how many people are you taking care of? We only have three now. So it's a pretty easy, quick fix at our house. It definitely gets easier than when we had five of us at home. So I will say to those of you guys who have lots of kiddos at home, I know it's a lot of work, you guys. Um, and bless you. You will miss them when they're gone, but I will say I miss them, but I do feel like my life is a little more orderly. I miss them though. So one of them told me to, this morning our phone call time is at 10 a.m. So I'm about to chat with her. You have four, Luann has two. It really does depend on how many people you have as far as how 
how easy it is to keep clean. So Kimberly, if you have five, Mandy has four. You guys, if you have three, four, five, six, seven, three, Christy, y'all, if you have a whole lot of humans in your house, don't expect yourself to have the perfect house. Like it's just going to depend on where you're at for sure. So anyways, that's my quick tip for the day. Give yourself tons of grace. Get it done. Just your husband, parrot, and you. Stacy says, Karen says four. It really does, like I said, the difference in having, I can't get over the difference in having two, I'm sorry, three versus five. Three versus four was even a big change. So six with five bedrooms, three baths. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Luna has five. Y'all, when we had five, the difference between five and three is crazy town different. It just feels totally different. Anyways, if you are interested in finding out more about the Passionate Penny Pinter Home Planner, I'm going to run into the kitchen real fast with y'all and I'll answer any quick questions. This is just a video I wanted to catch up with you guys and say hello. I'm going to take this. Let's see. I don't have this many hands. Let's head back. Oh, I'm not going to have a place to put my thing. Five, three teens, you guys. Those ones with three teens. It goes so fast. But then all of a sudden, it's like, it's so different. It just changes a ton. You know what? I forgot my phone holder. So we're going to walk back here and I'll answer questions. Three in your house. Did loads of laundry. The laundry situation with only one home. So Reagan does almost all of her own laundry, which is amazing. And so I'm telling you what, when you get to a place where they do their own laundry, this is definitely easier. Okay. Three people and three cats. Three people... Okay, we're gonna walk back through. You're trying to adopt a mentality of you can get finished when you can during the season. Yes, for sure too, and you're retired. Your husband works. If you don't have the planner, buy it today. It's not ready yet, Betsy. It's coming soon though. Phew, that was a lot of walking. Okay, I was gonna show you the planners real quickly and answer any quick questions. And I do wanna kinda just go through a couple tips on the planner because I hear so many people, especially new people, get the planner and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed. Where do I start? It's not supposed to be that hard, y'all. It's not supposed to be that hard. Really, truly, what I do personally is I'm religious about these things, which I kind of call, kind of call B plus work. If all I can do is these things, which we just did pretty much, um, I'm in pretty good shape for my day if I can just do those things. So those things are exercising, y'all. If I can just encourage you to exercise, if this planner does nothing else than encourage you to exercise, I will feel like I have won my life. Exercise is probably more important for you mentally than any other way. So I exercise just to care for myself. Like it's a gift to myself. I sleep better. I eat better. I don't know if I eat better. I don't eat better because I exercise, but I do sleep better. And I just am in general a happier person when I exercise. So I encourage you take some time to exercise for sure. Shower, y'all, listen. I get so many comments about this. Why does this planner tell me to shower? All the shower means is get up, get dressed. If you're somebody who puts your face on, put your face on. There is something to be said for just getting up and getting ready for the day for you, for me at least emotionally, and maybe you're not like that. Maybe you're content to not get up and get dressed and showered, but for me, I kind of need to feel like I'm a human being. So for me, it's valuable. Um, make your beds, start your laundry, clean your sinks, plan prep dinner, wash put away dishes, clean kitchen counters, wipe down the kitchen sink, and tidy main living space. If I do that once a day, my house is pretty controllable. Do y'all feel like that? Um, then the other things are just bigger projects. Like this, we just did the organize the bath towels. I need to organize my daughters. Um, yeah. Bathrooms, easy. So anyways, I'll answer any quick questions y'all have. Benita does water aerobics every day. I love that. Christine does everybody's laundry. I did that, listen, I did everybody's laundry for probably 15 years. And then once we moved, the way that our house is laid out, I was like, Reagan, you need to just do your own laundry. And she's done it. She has a day that's hers, and usually on the weekends. And she does a great job, and it really will change your life, Christine. So you will not be doing everybody's laundry forever. I promise it gets easier um, for sure. What kind of workout do you do? So I do, it just depends. Sometimes I do a spin bike and spin class, or I do Orange Theory, or I walk. I just do something every day. Um, so anything that, like, I try, I probably do Orange Theory the most right now, so, because I like that it has weight training. So I also like if you're at home and need a great workout at home, try body, Les Mills Body Pump or Body Combat on YouTube are great workouts. Um, are you going to do another setback challenge? Jennifer, people keep asking me. The only reason I'm like taking a week off is because I'm so committed to those darn steps 
that I don't do anything like spin and then I end up like, I know I need a break from just walking all the time. So I'm not so, we're gonna do one. I'm just gonna give myself maybe a week before we start another one to kind of like do some other types of workouts. When you're doing that step that challenge, I feel like even though I'm pretty good to get my 10,000 steps in every day, um, I feel like I have to get 15,000 steps and that's just a lot of time and I really do wanna be able to do some spinning as well just to be good on your joints and everything. So what does the inside of the pocket calendar look like? Okay, well, first of all, the outside of the pocket calendar is adorable. Um, and you can get a preview of these on the link in the video. Um, yes, I will repost the free giveaway. Actually, you should be able to see it. We'll post it again today. Um, the inside of the baby calendar, honestly, what I'm going to do right here, hang on. Let me flip this around so you can see it well. Okay, let's do this. Hang on. Okay. Okay. Here's inside the baby calendar. The, well, it's not the baby, it's the pocket calendar. I say that and everybody's like, you mean it's a baby planner for people having new babies? It is not that. It has two dry erasable tabs, which are kind of nice because they kind of cover their, um, what we do each day and each week. So it kind of just gives you an overview. I would call this like super A plus, A minus work, just really simple little system. And then it's got a place for you to add your, um, any don't forget things to do and it's dry erasable. Then you've got just a couple personal goal sheet and then just a traditional monthly calendar view. You walk every day and do aerobics. I love that, Candace. And then this is what it looks like for the, that was the monthly, sorry. Let me show you the daily. There's the daily view. Just really simple. Um, I think you'll love it. You need to order the baby calendars. You will love them, Bridget. Then on the main planner, we have four colors available. We have the floral. It's a, they all do come with a beautiful ruler, which I love. We have the blue. We have the navy, which I love with scripture on it. Oh my gosh, really? Wait, is that true, Debbie? Put your Fitbit or Apple Watch in your sock while you spin it will count your steps. Is that true, Debbie? I'm going to try it tomorrow. I'm trying it. You love the pocket calendar? I do too. It's so, it's just a little bit better than a normal pocket calendar. And then there's the pink stripes. Okay. I love that. You can't wait to get your new one. I'm so glad. And then this is what the, it comes with stickers and a ruler. And you can click the link in the video to get a free preview as well as get on the list to know when these goes live. The lowest price will be September 18th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So you definitely want to check it out. It's got a happy little note. I love getting to write these notes to you guys each year. So when you get yours, take a minute to read the happy note. They make me happy. Then it's got some helpful hints. And it's got several checklists. There's a Christmas checklist, a vacation checklist, a company is coming checklist, a yard and home maintenance checklist, a spring cleaning checklist. I probably need to do a video just like that, don't I? Um, a bill payment schedule, a monthly checklist. I think this is something we added this year because lots of people ask for a monthly checklist. Actually, I think I forgot that. Did we add that? I feel like maybe we added that, a bill payment schedule, and then maybe on the back of this. I can't remember if we had that last year. And then maybe we added an extra note page. And then some places for your goals for the year. I'm so glad you're trying to get back into walking. I see uh, Linda, I'm so glad you're able to get back into walking. That's fantastic. And then this is the inside of the planner, which is what makes it different. If you're new here, this is kind of the meat and potatoes. Your favorite part of September is reordering your planner, Betsy. I love that. The planner is about uh, smaller than eight and a half by 11. So just a little bit smaller than that. And to compare the pocket calendar, that's what they look like. So it's very tiny. It's pretty heavy and thick. I wish we could make it thinner, but if we make it thinner, then you're not gonna be able, the pages might bleed through. And I know y'all would be real grouchy with me if I had pages that bled, pages that bled through. So you're trying to get with your program of everything. Oh, I'm so sorry you're recovering from a stroke. Bless you. I hope you will be feeling better. I cannot even imagine all you've gone through in the last year. Starla is trying to get on to the system. Looks great. Can't wait to get yours. Yay, Julianne. Okay. Yeah. The monthly checklist is great. Y'all are going to love this. Um, anyways, I don't want to do all that. I just want to kind of get y'all 
Move in. Um, Mary, the home planner, I believe on launch night, I think, don't quote me on this, I believe it is $46 with shipping, but I could be wrong about that. We will also have a bunch of coupon codes, like some serious coupons. I think there's a, oh, I don't want to tell you wrong. There's a bunch of coupon codes too. So watch for the emails. Make sure you're on the email list to get all the information for sure. Y'all, thank you for hanging out with me this morning. I am so crazy thankful for you. You guys have an amazing day and we'll talk. Oh, yes, there is scripture included. And this is a really nice, easy scripture reading. One chapter a day, Monday through Friday. So good. Last year, you ordered the Erin Condon before you discovered. Tammy, I'm excited you're getting one this year. Amy, you got one. I'm so glad. Can you show us the mini planner inside? Yeah, let's see. The mini planner inside is truly just a pocket calendar with a few extra things. So there is the, remember this is the view of the main planner. Let me let you look at the monthly too. That's the monthly on the main calendar. And then this is the pocket calendar. It does not, the pocket calendar will not make up for the big guy. I'm just telling you. This, there is a student planner. Susie, type in passionate penny pincher planner on Amazon and you can get the student planner and we have a 25% off coupon on that. Okay, there's this. This is the baby calendar. The print is so, not the baby, the mini planner. This will be your third one. I'm so glad. And then this is what the, I don't know why. Why am I seeing that wrong? Oh, that's why. I was like, why is that doing that? Okay. And then that's the inside. Does that help you out? There you go. I will say the traditional planner has uh, scriptures in it. So, oh, that's the best thing about the new one. Hang on. I didn't even show you the best thing is these guys. Y'all, let's just look through these. This will be the last thing I show you guys, and then I'll hop off. But this is probably my, oh, do you see how it's foily? So fun. Y'all, do not sit here and watch this. Go get your cleaning done. I should not sit here and do this. But it's just so good. September 18th, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. You call it the mini planner on the calendar on the run. Yes, I love that. I just love these guys. They make me so happy. If you do not like scripture, be warned, this does have scripture in it. Um, if it's not for you, it's totally okay. There are lots of great planners out there that might be a better fit for you. Um, I will say you could cover these up. What I really love about these is that on the back of them, they have little scissor marks so that you can cut them out and put them in a frame. So anyways, there you go. Y'all do your cleaning. Take care of your home and your family and your finances. We're going to be enjoying our fish sticks tonight. Um, here's a peek at everything. Let's put this one up there. And let's put this one down here so you can kind of see. I love them. I'm so happy about them. And I think y'all are just going to love them too. You guys have an amazing day and we'll talk soon. Y'all have a great day. Bye guys.